You're on baby number two. That mature sedan you bought after you got married just isn't cutting it anymore. I mean, a double stroller in the back of a Camry? Yeah, that doesn't work. You're at the dining room table and the conversation starts up, should we get a minivan finally? But you're a car guy, you cannot be seen in a Sienna. And have you seen the prices of a new minivan? $45,000 for an Odyssey? Or maybe you get a Chrysler Town & Country Limited. Ooh, get out of here. For that kind of money, you could have a C6 Z06, a used Viper. You could probably even find a GTR with high miles for $45,000. There is no way you can spend that kind of money on a minivan. So why is it that someone couldn't have just made a minivan with a big, huge V8, 500 horsepower, I don't know, maybe all wheel drive, some huge brakes and wheels, and an awesome sounding exhaust? Guess what, as you imagine, they actually do make a 500 horsepower minivan, 507 to be exact, and that is of course the 2007 Mercedes-Benz R63 AMG. Now, I am back at iCar Chicago in Skokie, Illinois, and they actually located one of these super rare vans, and they're gonna let me putz around in it and give you my thoughts on what it's like to drive the ultimate grocery getter. So naturally, one of my videos would not be complete if I didn't go over how much an R63 is, where you can find them, and realistically, can you own one of these? As an added bonus, we're going to stick my wife in here, a mother of two who's only driven normal minivans in her life and nothing anywhere close to this, and she's going to give you her thoughts on what it's like to drive around basically a race van. Zero to 60 on the R-Class is 4.5 seconds. That is just nuts. Cars that do zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds, I mean, we're just talking like in that 2007 era would be like a Corvette. This would kill like a Mustang, even like a GT500 Mustang. And it's all wheel drive. So even faster cars than this at a track, this would be in most real world situations. The R63 is a very, very rare vehicle. They only made it for one year, 2007. Mercedes ended up not really advertising at all for this car. You just kind of had to know about it. So it really just went to AMG enthusiasts. It was a $95,000 minivan that came out right before basically the Great Depression number two. And it was a minivan that got like 12 miles per gallon in the city. They only sold like about 50 of these in the United States. So it's one of the rarest cars they make you know, about five to 7,000 Corvette Z06s for $100,000 every year. The Aventador is uh, slated for like 600 units and that's a Lamborghini. So, I, I mean, you're never gonna see one of these. So one thing uh, a lot of people don't know about these cars is that they're actually made in Alabama. A lot of people think they were imported from Germany, which most Mercedes are. Right, we're at a light. Um, this is all-wheel drive, so we're going to have to uh, definitely test this out right now. <laughs> wow! The R63 is a really hard car to find. I searched all the normal sites like cars.com, car gurus, and auto trader, and nothing came up. I literally had to type in a Google search, is anyone selling an R63, and I found a thread on MB World of someone asking the exact same question. This thread was from this year and the results were pretty interesting. I found one R63 with 110,000 miles asking 29,000. Another sold at $20,000 and had 160,000 miles. There was one person that sold theirs for $34,500 and it had 78,000 miles. I do think the R63 is going to go up in value quite a bit over the next few years. The key is finding a low mileage example with a clean history, and those are far and few between now. I gotta say, these brakes feel fantastic. I looked it up, these are like 15 inch rotors in the front and like 14 in the back. I found basically the, uh, the auto bond of Chicago right here. So we're gonna test out uh, what the handling is like in sport mode. Yeah, that was it. That's uh, that's all we have here. 
but this thing handles really well. There really wasn't much body roll for what it is. It's 5,100 pounds, so, you know, cut it some slack. It's a minivan. There's baby seats in the back right now. <laughs> That's 7,000 RPM shift points. You're not going to have this much fun in a Sienna or an Odyssey, I'll tell you that. I was planning on going over some of the features of this car. It fits six people, it has TVs and a headrest, and blah, 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 blah. I mean, really, who cares? I mean, this has everything a normal minivan would have. Minus the sliding doors, I guess. So another concern with owning an R63 being that it's so rare is, I mean, how much is this thing to fix? Are parts even available? Would this just be a complete nightmare? And surprisingly, the answer is no to that. This shares a lot of the same parts as the ML63, which they made quite a few of. So realistically, especially drive uh, train components, engine trains, all that stuff is all the same. And then the body and the interior, a lot of that stuff just carries over from the normal R-Class. So this isn't as extreme as you would think to maintain, but it is an AMG car that cost almost $100,000 that's reaching 10 years old. So naturally it's gonna cost way more than a normal minivan. So the exhaust note on the R63 is fantastic. I really liked how the 55 motors sounded the generation before they came out with these naturally aspirated 6.2 liters. But this is like a whole different thing. You can definitely hear the exhaust. about getting a minivan and this is the only minivan he said that he would be willing to get it drives super smooth really nice low to the ground small but it's spacious right with two car seats in the back and then plus you have that third row seating back there yeah i mean this fit, this fits six so it's most of the minivans are like seven some of them are eight but i mean how many kids are you gonna have right <laughs> 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 That's another uh, <laughs> sitting at the table type of question, isn't it? That's another conversation. <laughs> you know, Mercedes doesn't even call this a minivan, but they already have wagons, they have SUVs. This looks just like a minivan. So, in the States, realistically, everyone considers this a minivan. <laughs> Feels a lot faster at the passenger seat when you're not expecting it. What do you think of that power? I kind of want to take this to the racetrack. I mean, you could. I mean, how funny would that be? You could pull up next to Corvettes and Mustangs and like really ruin their day. Plus me sitting in here. Right. And they're going to be like, all right. And I can like blow them away. Exactly. <laughs> now, of course, we'd have <laughs> to leave the awesome. kids at home for that, but we can leave the car seats in there just to embarrass them even more. I kind of just want to get one of these just to do that. Yeah. Okay. You want to buy it? <laughs> sure. Which <laughs> <laughs> we're late for soccer practice. our ride with the R63 AMG. What does everyone think? Please comment below. Would you buy an R63? We know that they're around thirty dollars to $50,000 depending on the mileage and condition and where you're at. So it's not completely insane to buy one, but obviously it's still going to be an expensive car to own and maintain. Do you think you could convince your significant other to buy an R63 or is it completely impossible? As always, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, this is a car channel. We do car reviews on cool cars, DIY, performance modifications, racing, you name it, it's on this channel. Please consider subscribing. As always, have a wonderful day, and thank you very much.